Hello friend, welcome in the 30 days of code in HackerRank. So today is the day 28 and today we solve the problem about regex. So let's go to the problem. So regex is the short form of regular expression. So regular expression is used to search a particular substring in a main string. You can learn more about regex through this tutorial tab or you can search on internet and you can learn more about regex so i simply go through the stack section so in this problem you simply check some emails that these emails are end with at the rate gmail.com or not so i directly go to this sample input because i think from this sample input you understand the whole problem statement so here the first line six that means the sixth line of input is taken from user and each line two space separated string are present so one is name and another is email id so you can see that here first string is name and then second string is email id and this email id is either end with at the rate gmail.com or other like this like at the rate julia.me or anything else so you simply find this email address is end with at the rate gmail.com or not if it is end with this then you simply store this name variable at the end your task is to sort this name in alphabetical order and print in the output screen so I think you understand the whole problem statement. If you have any doubt about this, then please go to the comment section and comment. I definitely try to solve your doubt. So now I go to this hacker rank editor and you can see that lots of code is present. So I simply select all the code and press backspace to delete all the code and for this problem we solve using C and C++ so first I solve this problem in C++ and then C language so please watch the video till end so now I start writing my C++ code by has include bit plus stdc plus plus dot h and this is the standard header file for the c plus plus and then using namespace std and then int main and then i simply go to this input format and the first line contain an integer n the total number of row in the table and then each of the n subsequent line contains two space separated string denoting a person first name and email id respectively so you can see that first you have to take the user input of the number of row in the table so that's why i declare a variable and name it n and then that take the user input for n and then you have to go through the n line so that's why i make a while loop and inside of the while loop i simply write n greater than 0 and each time i simply decrease the n variable and inside of this while loop i simply declare two variables because you have to take the input of two variable one is name and another is email id so that's why I simply declare one variable so string and name it first name and another is string and email id so now I take the user input for this two variable so one is first name and another is email id so now after taking the user input you simply check if this email id is end with at the rate gmail.com or not so that's why we use the regex in this problem 
so you can see the use of this regex in this line so I simply write if and inside of this if statement I write reg x underscore match and inside of this email id and then reg x and inside of this reg x I write dot plus at the rate gmail dot com so you can see that first this reg x match is present so this is the function that simply check this particular substring is present on this main string or not so if this substring is present in the main string then this function that means the regex match function return true and if this substring is not present then it simply return false so now inside of this if statement i simply store the corresponding name of the email id which is end with this at the rate gmail.com so that's why i simply declare a list so i write list this list is string type and name it simply name and now inside of this if statement i simply store the name variable inside of the name list so that's why i write push back and then first name so that means we simply check this at the rate gmail.com is present in this email id or not if it is present in this email id then i simply store the first name in this name list and if it is not then we do not store this first name so after store the all the name you have to sort them in alphabetical order so that's why after this while loop i write name dot sort so the name inside of this name list is sorted in alphabetical order so now i simply print so that's why i make a while loop and inside of this while loop i write not equal to name dot empty so that means this while loop is end when name list is empty so inside of this while loop i write c out so that means we print the name so that's why I write name dot font. So we simply print the name from front of the list and then end them. And then we simply write name dot pop front. So we simply print the name inside of this name list and then simply pop the name from this name list. So after this, I simply run my code, check it is right or not. So it is processing and yes friend sample test case 0 is passed so now i simply submit my code to check some additional test cases so yes all the test cases are passed so that means c plus plus solution for this problem is done so now i write the c solution for this problem so that's why i select the c language and you can see that for c language it contain all this boilerplate code so that's why i simply select all the code in this editor and then simply remove this code for the c solution i simply copy the c solution from this notepad and then paste it here so now i explain this code line by line so at first i simply click the run code to check this code is right or not yes and then submit my code so all the test cases are passed so now I simply go through each line of this C code. So first here is the int n and index 0. So that means we declare two variables. One is n and one is index. And initialize the index variable to 0. And then can the user input for n. And then we simply declare a 2D array of character type. And then we make a for loop and inside of this for loop we simply declare three character type array and the first is first name second is email id and third is id so why the size of this first name email id and id is fixed so because you can see here in the constraint the length of the first name is no longer than 20 a length of the email id is no longer than 50 so that's why i simply give the size of this first name to 20 and email id to 50 and 
the id 11 and then inside of this id i simply store this at the rate gmail.com and it is a character type array and then inside of this scanf we simply scan the user input for this first name and email id and then inside of this if we simply use this str str function and this function basically do one thing that it simply check this id is present in this email id or not if it is present then it return a pointer for this id and if it's not present then it simply return null so that that's why i simply write it is not null that means this id is present in this email id then we simply copy this first name inside of this name array so after that we simply make two for loop and inside of this for loop we write string compare name i and name j greater than zero so what this code basically do so string compare basically compare two string so here name i and name j is basically two string and i is started from zero and j started from i plus one so that means we simply check this name i is greater than name j or not so if this name i is greater than name j then this string compare function simply return a integer variable which is greater than 0 and when this name i string is less than this name j string then it is written minus 1 and if these two string are same then it is written 0 so that's why we write greater than 0 because we simply want to sort this name array in alphabetical order this string compare function simply compare the first character of these two strings and then go to the second character so this is the way to compare the two strings in C so now we simply declare a temp variable that means temp array and then we simply do the swap so what this code basically do so this code is basically sort the name array in alphabetical order so after that the code is simple you make a for loop and simply print the h element inside of this name array so this is a simple code for c language and if you have any doubt about this c program then you simply go to the comment section i definitely try to solve your doubt so i think this two code is very helpful for you and if you think so then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification when i upload this type of video and please like and share my video so this is for the day 28 see you in the next video thank you friends goodbye